What does prevailing wage mean in construction? If you're involved in construction projects, especially those funded by the government, you might have heard the term prevailing wage. But what does it really mean? Let's start with the basics. A prevailing wage is the hourly wage, plus usual benefits and overtime, that is paid to the majority of workers, laborers, and mechanics in a particular area. This rate is not just a minimum wage, it's the wage that most workers in that area are already earning. In the United States, the prevailing wage is often the union wage, especially in areas with strong union representation. For example, if most construction workers in a city are union members and earn a certain wage, that wage becomes the prevailing wage for similar projects in that area. Prevailing wages are determined by regulatory agencies, such as the U.S. Department of Labor at the federal level, and by state departments of labor for state-funded projects. The rates are calculated based on surveys of wages paid on similar projects within the area. If the same wage is not paid to a majority of workers, the prevailing wage is the average of the wages paid, weighted by the total number of workers in that classification. There are different types of prevailing wage determinations. At the federal level, the Davis-Bacon Act of 1931 sets the rules for federally funded construction projects exceeding $2,000. This act ensures that workers on these projects are paid no less than the locally prevailing wages and benefits. At the state level, many states have their own prevailing wage laws, often referred to as Little Davis-Bacon Acts. These laws apply to state-funded construction projects and can have different wage rates than federal projects. For instance, Pennsylvania's Prevailing Wage Act applies to state and local government contracts exceeding $25,000. In addition to federal and state determinations, prevailing wages can also be based on collective bargaining agreements, CBAs, in areas with strong union presence. For residential construction, heavy and highway construction, and other specialized projects, the prevailing wages are determined based on the specific type of work and the local wage rates for those projects. The purpose of prevailing wage laws is to ensure that workers on government-funded projects are paid fairly and to prevent contractors from underbidding each other by cutting labor costs. This helps maintain a higher standard of living for local workers and promotes healthy competition among contractors. In summary, prevailing wages in construction are about ensuring fair compensation for workers based on local standards, preventing unfair labor practices, and maintaining a level playing field for contractors. Whether it's a federal, state, or union-determined rate, the goal is to provide workers with a fair day's pay for their work.